Hello everyone, I'm Leila Fedul from Friedrich Schiller University, Jena, and the German Aerospace Center, and in the following I will present my research on semantics-driven keyword search over knowledge graphs. A lot of data is nowadays represented as knowledge graphs, but accessing this data requires not only the technical expertise to formulate structured queries, but also the knowledge of the underlying data schema. With the aim of making knowledge graphs data accessible, also for end users, keyword search could be adapted, since it's an easy and familiar method to retrieve information. In the context of knowledge graphs, a possible answer to the query is a subgraph that connects the nodes corresponding to the query terms. To achieve this task, the first step is to map keywords to graph elements. At this stage, of research, we assume that keywords annotations and the type of entities to retrieve are given, and we focus on automatically finding candidate subgraphs and ranking them effectively. Many works addressed candidates retrieval, mostly using graph traversal algorithms, but subgraph ranking is still not sufficiently studied. In the literature, we can distinguish between three types of rankings. Compactness based consider the size of subgraphs, but they cannot distinguish between subgraphs having the same number of elements. Importance based are mostly based on structural factors, like nodes in degree, but it's still not a logical factor of being semantically relevant. Finally, textual based rely on string matches, but in graphs, textual information is usually rather scarce. So, to the best of our knowledge, none of the existing rankings tries to take advantage from the semantics of the relations. Based on the previous discussion, we identify three research questions. The first is how to find the set of candidate subgraphs. For that, we assume that using graph traversal algorithms would answer this question but we should make sure that the return subgraphs are unique and do not contain irrelevant parts that could be removed without disconnecting query terms. The second question deals with answer ranking using semantic metrics. For that, we plan to combine semantic criteria like semantic relatedness with other metrics. With the third question, we want to determine to which extent lower ranked subgraphs still add relevant results. To verify that, we need to conduct evaluations on real-world datasets. To address the previous questions, and especially the first one, we propose the following approach. The workflow is divided into two phases, offline and runtime. The offline phase takes the original RDF graph, summarizes it, then assigns costs to its ages. In the runtime phase, keywords are mapped to graph elements, the graph is explored to find candidate paths, and query results are displayed to the user. To address the second research question, we run our pipeline using different cost functions and investigate how the return subgraphs are rated. We use three types of functions, triple frequency, which is important based, and here frequent triples are more important, therefore they are given lower cost and will be preferred during the exploration. Semantic relatedness between two nodes A and B in the subgraph calculated over WordNet which is semantics-based, and here, ages connecting more similar nodes are given lower cost. And finally, their combination, since semantic relatedness alone, cannot distinguish between subgraphs having the same nodes. The figure on the right side shows two possible relevant subgraph templates to the query for cities over the original graph in the left side. Here, the most intuitive information need is cities located in a French-speaking country. We expect that subgraph 1 is less relevant since it will also return cities located in non-French-speaking countries. In this case, triple frequency ranks subgraph 1 higher than subgraph 2 just because our example contains more instances of person and their relations than countries and provinces. So we deduce that the frequency of appearance is not a good indicator of relevance and semantic relatedness seems more promising. Current results indicate that semantics are a good indicator of results relevance. We also introduce a new ranking metric by combining importance and semantics-based criteria. Current results are promising, but still need evaluation using an appropriate ground truth. This would allow us to evaluate not only the effectiveness of the current approach, but also determine the number of needed subgraphs. 
We also plan to consider other metrics and deal with the case of missing assumptions.